Hi, John Dixon here from the Centre for Public Christianity. I'm talking about humility. My thesis is that the greatest people in history have been people marked by humility. Now, you can be great without humility, of course, but with humility, the great are even greater. And I've tried to argue several reasons for adopting humility in your personal relationships and professional dealings. Uh, humility is common sense, since none of us is an expert. Humility is just beautiful. It's an attractive quality in a great person. Um, thirdly, humility is the sign of a secure person, a person who doesn't have to show off and big note themselves. Here's my fourth reason, though. Humility leads to new abilities. Uh, the logic is pretty simple. A person who thinks they know everything is closed to new thoughts, new skills, and so on. But the person who knows that what they don't know far exceeds what they do know is going to be open to new thoughts, new perspectives, new skills. Let me share with you a time when I myself uh, was forced to learn this lesson. Now, I used to sing in a band. This was before I was an official nerd. And uh, one day we were on tour, one month, we were on tour of the Northern Territory and we were invited to uh, do a concert out at uh, the Daly River Aboriginal Station. And it was a great privilege to go out there and um, uh, play, you know, a couple of hours of a concert for them. Actually, it was one of the most bizarre concerts I've ever done um, since uh, people didn't come into the auditorium, they just sat along the edges of the whole auditorium. And afterwards I thought, it had gone really flat, but the organiser said, no, they loved it. I said, how on earth could you tell? And he said, well, they stayed. So anyway, it was a great privilege the next day to be taken out for lunch. Uh, traditional style. They um, shot us a goose. They caught us a turtle. Uh, and, uh, and they cooked up some water lily nuts, which are just actually really nice. But it was quite funny because uh, as they laid the turtle still alive on the fire, uh, it was ant infested. Um, the women did all the cooking while the old fella uh, got out his didgeridoo. And we were sitting there in the dirt and for about five minutes, this um, old Aboriginal guy just spat down his didgeridoo until uh, saliva was dribbling out the end and spilling over the mouthpiece and then uh, after spitting through it for five minutes he literally passed it to me to play. This was one of these sort of cultural moments I didn't really know what to do. You know there I was sitting in the dirt about to eat ant infested turtle puckering up to the most saliva lubricated thing I'd ever seen in my life. But here's my point. Sometimes being forced to be in that kind of humble situation leads to new abilities. I puck it up. Let me just say, uh, kiddies shouldn't really try that at home. My point is that sometimes uh, sitting in a place that you don't really want to be, in a, a humble place, is the very place you learn new lessons. Now, of course, I realise that telling you a story about my being humble and learning a new skill is not very humble. Uh, but I need to say this was forced humility. I didn't want to be sitting there in the dirt, puckering up to a saliva-filled log but I was forced to do it. And you know, I am so glad for the lesson because sometimes sitting in the dirt, puckering up to the horrible is the very place you learn new skills that you couldn't learn any other way. Humility is common sense. Humility is beautiful. Humility is a mark of security and humility leads to new abilities. In the next installment, I'll give you my last reason for humility.